Welcome Aquarius and thank you for joining. This is going to be a collective general love reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Wherever you have Aquarius in your chart. So Aquarius, this reading may not resonate for all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I want to welcome all my newcomers and all my mystical family out there. Happy Valentine's Day. I am sending you all love and light. I greatly appreciate you and your energy, your time, and all the lovely comments. What do you need to release, Aquarius? Waning moon. So, Aquarius, on your new moon on the 11th is a day for you to write down what you need to release from your life that no longer is serving you. Letting go of what needs to go to make room for new blessings. Because a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra, Aquarius. You can have an, a Libra moon sign or your person could have Libra in their chart here. I feel release someone here from your past and releasing an X energy because new love Aquarius wants to come in for you is what I feel. Okay, beautiful energy. Now let's see what we have here. I did see in the shuffle that there could have been an ending here. There was someone here that was let go. It could have been someone here that had a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But we'll see what's coming through for my Aquarians. Okay, what's the advice? Peace, number 23. Now, this is, came out for another reading. I'm not quite sure what it was, but it's change. Number five is all about making changes here. And we're in the universal number five for 2021, Aquarius. And it's moving you into an energy here that brings you peace, harmony, balance. Something that you've been waiting for is what I feel here. And there's an energy here of carrying a new branch here that has fruit on it. And it's, it's a white dove that's bringing in this. So it's a Holy Spirit that's saying there is fruition coming in here to a seed that you had planted. Something here that you want to move towards. It's something I feel that involves a soulmate connection. And this is adorable. This is the first time it's coming out here. This is moving you into a new romantic cycle here where it aligns soul connection. Number 41 is also a number five here. And it's very hard to see, but there's an energy here in the clouds. There's an angel, but it looks like a mother figure. So I'm seeing like the Mother Mary, can you see this? And this is something that is destined to happen here. There's an energy here of a motherly figure here in the heavenly realms that's looking on this relationship, Aquarius, and saying yes, bringing in love into your life here that brings in a great change. I feel something here that's coming in that's a sacred union and it brings restoration and peace into your life here, Aquarius. I feel make room because there's someone here that's coming in that's destined for you, Aquarian. Let's get a romance or oracle from Dorian Virtue. Ooh, lots of cards came out. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime, Aquarius. True love is coming in here. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Someone here, Aquarius, sees you as potential. There's someone here who wants to put a ring on it. And someone here that wants to take a retreat with you. It's time to disconnect from the world, Aquarius. So I feel this could be your energy with your partner. I also feel this is what you need to release. I feel you're paying attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So it looks like you could be walking away from something here that you just know your intuition is going off. You're trusting your gut here. And there's someone here that you're separating from is what I feel here. So I feel definitely trusting your intuition here. 
because you are connecting here is what I feel. Now we're gonna leave these cards out. And we're gonna go ahead and do the tarot. So let's see, and we're gonna do a Celtic spread for my Aquarians out there. Where is your heart in this relationship? Your person, and we'll see some advice cards. We'll also get the issue that needs to be resolved. Yes. You, right now, Taurus, energy number five. So I feel you have Taurus in your chart here, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. This is the energy here of marriage, commitment. It's an energy here of what you believe in. This is your higher self coming into this reading here, letting me know that you are aligning here to where your mission is, where your soul mission is, and where your counterpart is. This is a sacred union. I feel that there's an energy here of unified love coming in. Something here that's a partnership where there's a lot of attraction here, especially with the soulmate card, Aquarius. I feel what's crossing you is the Queen of Cups. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel that your person right now is not opened up. There's an energy here of a lot of healing. Queen of Cups, this is letting me know your person is love. Your person has a lot of love for you. I feel that there's an energy here of love, but it's not being, I don't feel that the love is being shown. I feel that, and I heard it in my meditation. It's like, you only say you love me. You know that song, you only say you love me when I'm naked, that kind of a song. It's like someone here is turning their back here because they're not feeling they're not feeling an open connection here of something here that, that's moving into stability. Equal give and take here. An energy here of conforming to a higher connection, like the cards say. Be open because a new romantic cycle is beginning here. Okay. Queen of Cups. Let us see what is in the foundation of this reading is Queen of Pentacles. Yep, more earth energy here. So now we have two queens, and it doesn't matter what the what the what the if it's a male or a female. What I feel is that there's a queen of pentacles here. You're someone who's very homely. You're someone here who's very empowered, down to earth, motherly. <clears throat> Pardon me. I feel that you're very committed. You're very stable. You're very abundant here. And there's a stable commitment right now. This reading is about. It's about someone here, is what I'm feeling is. You're someone here who could be a mother figure. Someone here who's very committed in their family here. There's an energy here all a bit about based on your beliefs and your marriage and your commitments. I felt the past energy here. There you are, Aquarius. In the past, I felt that there was a lot of hope, a lot of, a lot of faith and disconnection. I felt that with the star card being here, which is your card, there was an energy here where... You were trying to find how to understand in your higher self. You were trying to understand here about if this was aligned for you. I felt that in the past, you felt that this was something that was very destined. There was an energy also here of reconciliation in the past here is what I feel. Okay, with the star card. I feel what's in your conscience goals is that there's a separation, a heartache, three of swords here, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel that there's a separation here. Someone here is feeling rejected. Someone here is feeling a lot of grief, a lot of pain, a lot of heartache energy here. And this is why it's coming up as the Queen of Cups here. There's an emotional imbalance here. There's a lot of heartache and a lot of pain here is what I'm feeling in a commitment. What is the decision in the near future? Is that someone here is not speaking. Someone here withdrew their energy. The hermit card, Virgo. Someone here is, is going through inner guidance. Someone here is feeling very much alone. Someone here is feeling very much no communication. But what I'm feeling here is there's a very spiritual connection between the both of you here. Very spiritual. So I have three major arcana telling me here, there is definitely a higher connection here. Something here that's aligned in the stars is what I feel with the star card. There was someone in the past here that you were very authentic, you were very genuine. There was a lot of genuine energy here about your relationship in the past here. We'll look more into it. Where are you feeling 
you're feeling very self-imposed. You're feeling like the devil energy. This is Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn in your chart or Saturn. This is very much a sabotaging energy. Abusing, someone abusing their power over you. I feel that there's addictions right here. This could be addictions to alcohol, drugs. There's also an energy here of you feel you're in a toxic connection, Aquarius. You feel that there's an energy here where you're dealing with someone here who's very possessive. I feel a very possessive energy here. I feel someone here that um, is very obsessive and obsessed with you. Let's see how your person is feeling. There's that energy of Scorpio. Death and rebirth, this card is all about. This is the rising from the phoenix. So your person could be a Scorpio energy here. You could have had an ending with your person. Something here ended. And something here began to change. A transformation energy here is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I feel you withdrew your connection. And you put an ending here to, to something here with your partner. Okay. What needs to be resolved? There it is. The water sign I saw. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone needs to open up and communicate here. Someone here needs to forgive. There's an energy here of offering their love here. Someone here needs to communicate the way they're feeling because I don't see any communication in this reading. King of Cups is opening up your heart here to receive because there is a soul connection here. So now I have a King and Queen of Cups here. Two people here that are very emotionally connected, King and, and Queen of Cups. These two people are parents. These people are mother, father, however you wanna look at it. There's an energy of someone here, one person gives too much and one person doesn't. There's an imbalance in the connection here is what I'm feeling. We'll dive deeper, Aquarius. Also what I'm feeling here, this is the outcome, the fool. So Aquarius, we know that you have a major turning point happening in your life, especially in February. You have a full house of six planets in your sign right now, including Venus. Venus moved in. So you have a lot going on here. You are taking a leap of faith. You're going for a new beginning here. You are trusting in the spirit here. You're trusting in Holy Spirit. You're aligning to the sun here which is letting me know this is the sun in Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Also letting me know here that you have God's protection and you're starting off a new journey. You're leaping forward here, Aquarius. You're going through a phoenix rising is what I feel here. Wow, Aquarius. And I am happy to see that full card for you because you are representing air, the element of air where we move now into the age of Aquarius is what I'm feeling. This is a whole new direction for you. Lots of major endings and major beginnings because you have a lot of major arcana. I feel Aquarius, you had a very intimate, passionate connection here, Ace of Wands with someone. There was an energy here. It could have been a lot of passion. It was like a new spark that lit up in you here. It was like a friends with benefits kind of an energy here. Ace of Wands. Very intimate connection that you had here. I feel with the Nine of Pentacles, this could have been someone here that was very single. Someone that was independent. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Someone here that was very much in the limelight also. This person here was very much attractive. Someone here that was single. Someone that was available. Someone that was definitely King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This is someone here who is very much like Rico Suave. Someone here that lights a fire in you, Aries, King of Wands. Someone here that could have been an entrepreneur, self-employed. Someone here that lit a fire in you. A very, very much a connection here of a fire intimate connection. I feel in the past with this three of pentacles, you wanted to put the work in this relationship. There was an energy here of wanting to work with your partner on this relationship where things would start to take shape in the physical world here. And I feel that there was 
a breakup with that three of swords and so that you moved forward you had to relocate possibly this person could be at a physical distance from you there could have been travel here you could have met this person online on an online dating but i feel aries that there was a hot and spicy love affair going on here someone at a physical distance from you someone here that could be very into networking global communication and i feel that there was an energy here like see how he's looking at her like in between the both of you this was here and this represents the phallic symbol so someone here had a hot and spicy connection filled with passion and intimacy and i felt with the two of wands there was a decision here that needed to be made here I feel that this person is at a distance from you. Ten of Wands, which creates a burden. It's a stress. It's like I've put all the work that I could into this, trying to achieve this, and it couldn't work out. You could not see a way forward with this person in this relationship. Things began to fall apart is what I feel. Okay, let's get some clarifiers and see why my Aquarius is coming up as the Queen of Cups with the Hierophant. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. Queen of Cups to the Hierophant. So you're someone who could be married in a partnership. For some of you, yes. And there's an energy of the strength card. Libra, I'm sorry, Leo energy here is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you have started to regain your strength. You started to regain your courage. You grow very pa uh, patient. You're taking control now. And you've grown very wise. You're a wiser Aquarius. And there's the King of Cups. And you're someone here who's in love with your partner. There's a lot of love for this person. This is someone here who's a father figure, King of Cups. Someone here who's, who's emotionally generous. Very generous, balanced, but I feel that there's an energy here of this father figure is not showing their emotions here. I feel that they're drinking from this cup now. They have the cup here is what I'm feeling. And there's an energy here of them wanting to heal this situation. Major arcana here. I feel you, were through, you went through a huge tower moment already. Yes, queen of wands. So there's definitely two queens here in this picture. There was definitely a choice and option. I feel that someone here could, like this is wifey and mistress. So there's an energy here of someone here could have been in a relationship where they were in a partnership, but there was someone here that had two offers. Two people were here. Someone had a mistress. Okay, queen of pentacles. Someone here that had fire in their chart. Someone here that was very fiery. Five of Wands. So in the foundation, Queen of Pentacles, you're experiencing right now a lot of conflict. A lot of tension. There's a lot of competition here, Aquarius. There's a lot of strife and a lot of disagreements. There's a lot of, of a lot of arguing fives. You're in the five of wands, five of, of swords. That's a lot of tension, loss, betrayal. Someone here feeling betrayed. Someone here that wants to win at all costs also here. Someone here that's not giving up on a connection here is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a behavior here of a lot of drama, reckless, lashing out energy, lots of jealousy. Also, there's a lot of jealousy around you, Aquarius. Your person is very jealous over you. Yes. And four of cups here. This is like saying, no, I'm not interested. It's like a four of cups where you're reevaluating. There's an energy of waiting on and not accepting an offer, not communicating with your person. It's like the hermit card here. There's a lot of isolation. There's a lot of blocking out now. I feel that there was a huge fight, a huge argument, Aquarius, here. 
Now what's the star card? Three of Pentacles. In the past, you put a lot of work into this relationship. You also put a lot of work into yourself, Aquarius. You put a lot of work into yourself. You could have if you could have started your own business, Aquarius. You could be collaborating, working with others. Yes. In the past with the Six of Cups here. This is someone here in the past that you had hope for a reconciliation with someone in your past. Someone here that could have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and heavy Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So what I'm feeling is with an earth sign, you were hoping for a commitment with someone here that you have a lot of memories with. Six of Cups here. This is someone here that you could have grew up with from your childhood. But whatever this energy is, this is someone here that bring you in a very practical, very, very vulnerable, this person that you were with in the past, that you were hoping that would reconcile, is what I'm feeling. I feel in the Three of Swords energy now, of what is your conscience goals. Page of Wands. One more card. Two more. One more card, please. Thank you. Oh, we got more cards. There we go. Three of Pentacles. Karma. So in the conscience goals, this created karma here. There was definitely an unbalanced energy here. And there was a karmic situation is what I'm feeling here. I feel that the three of swords is the energy of what your conscience goals are. Is that you're carrying an energy of a lot of pain, a lot of separation, and a lot of heartache, Aquarius. Nine of pentacles is letting me know. Consciously, there's an energy here where you're wanting your independence. I feel that you are right now in the Nine of Pentacles. This is what you're consciously wanting. You're wanting to live alone. You're wanting to get away from, from something here that is within your partnership. Ten of Pentacles. I feel something here is not working, Aquarian, for you. And this could be with someone here that is single. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like there is a separation here. I feel that like there's an unequal give and take. It's one-sided situation here. I feel that someone here is ghosting you and not communicating, Aquarius. I feel a page of wands. This is consciously is wanting to communicate, wanting to open up to deliver a message here to communicate. But someone here that is feeling closed off, someone's heart here turned cold is what I'm feeling here. And withdrew their energy. Went into hermit mode here. There's a lot of wise thinking here now. It's like I'm much, like you're saying, I'm much wiser now. I'm much wiser. You've learned a lesson here. You've seen something here with the Virgo energy here. There's something, Aquarius, that you had a vision about here. It's like you had a dream about what's going on here. And you pulled back your energy here, is what I'm feeling. What's the Hermit card in the near future? Definitely a separation energy. And you're paying attention to these red flags. Yes, there was an ending here is what I feel. I feel with the death card Scorpio, someone here. Now with the death card comes rebirth. This is making a transition, making a change. Releasing the old past way, like it says, releasing what no longer serves you. Because an ace of pentacles is coming in here. This is a new beginning that's coming in. A solid offer with the Ace of Pentacles from the hand of God. And this is someone here that wants to make an energy of moving forward. Making future plans. Making discovery. Someone's coming out of not speaking. And someone's about to speak, Aquarius. Someone here is coming in with an offer after there was a, a separation, an ending. Let's see what the devil card is. Show me what the devil card is, please. Five of Pentacles. A lot of lower energy. A lot of isolation. Feeling lonely. Feeling insecure. Feeling worried. Financial loss and poverty. And this is the old way. This is the old way, Saturn saying. 
This is a way of thinking of not having self-assurance or confidence in an energy here. Someone here is what I'm feeling. This is your energy, Aquarius. There could be a lack of finances here. Yes, and now we have the Eight of Pentacles. And where you started to put work on yourself here. You started to get an energy here of being very focused, very detailed. You're also very focused on your finances and on your career now is what I'm feeling. I feel you've been investing in yourself, working on yourself now. And you're starting a new, a new energy off here where you're becoming a master builder. Yes. Okay. Aquarius. Clarifying the devil energy here. You're coming out of a Saturn cycle here where you're now shifting your energy and you're very focused, very detailed here. You're working very hard night and day is what I feel here on a new project, something new. That's going to bring in new money, new investments here for you. I feel that here you go. Four of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There you are, Aquarius, and the Pisces energy. You gained a new perspective is what I see here. This is you having a Eureka moment where you get enlightenment. And this is where Aquarius season is helping you. This is Pisces and Neptune here. And what I feel with this energy, Four of Wands is bringing in blessings. It's asking for hope, faith, spirituality here. Having hope and a connection here. Four of Wands, this is within your partnership. This is within your home, your marriage. And there's an energy here of gaining a new perspective on your marriage. There's an energy of letting go and giving control to the universe. It's like let go and looking, at it, and looking at it in a different perspective. Clearing your mind here is what I'm feeling because the Four of Wands is bringing in a celebration, a new home it could be. It could be a new sacred union, a new business, something here that brings in new opportunity, that brings in double new beginnings for you, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, I feel after a separation, from your partner here. Let's see what, what the death card is. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio here, or you had an ending with your partner, I feel a lot of healing energy. Lots of healing taking place here. Show me what the death card is. What's their long-term views? They are coming in fast here. Knight of Swords energy. This is someone that is coming in quickly. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is rust in communication. Could be a lot of drama here also that's coming in. Yes, with the Queen of Cups, back to the Queen of Cups. Rushing into you is what I feel, Aquarius. I feel you're someone here who's an empath. You're very psychic. You're very intuitive here. I feel that your person here is having a lot of, of sleepless nights. There's an energy here of feeling anxious, feeling doubtful, an intense anxiety here, a lot of despair. And with the Queen of Cups, this is an energy here where a deep healing now is taking place here with your person. I feel that your person is going through the shadow side. Your person here is going through an energy here where they have to have a deep healing on deep core wounds. This is a lot of wounds here. This is, with the death card, this is a huge transformative energy where your person is going through a transformation right now. What is the King of Cups? What is the King of Cups? And this is in a position of what needs to be resolved. Please clarify what needs to be resolved. Yes, the moon card. So this is Pisces energy. What needs to be resolved is the king of cups energy, whether you're a man or a woman, is resolving and healing the fear. What is false illusions appearing to be real? It's like healing an energy here and trusting in your intuition here. 
because the King of Cups is, is very much in his energy here and his emotions, holding in and not revealing what is hidden here. There's a lot of fears, a lot of subconscious insecurity, and a lot of dreamy energy of a, a lot of nightmares here taking place. I feel that also there could have been a third party situation here, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling. And that there's a healing that needs to take place here after a third party situation. What is the full card? The full card is the tower, Mars and Scorpio to the Knight of Cups. So I see my Aquarius moving forward, taking a leap of faith here, which brings a huge shakeup. This is bringing in a huge shakeup. And it's aligning you to the lovers, Gemini energy. This is aligning you to a soul connection here. A love union, a relationship. Aligning to your values, making choices here is what I feel. I feel a choice is being made here. Now this could mean another person. I have a king of swords here. It's someone here that you've been waiting for. This is your ships coming in here is what I feel. Heavy Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And I feel that you are taking a leap forward here. And this could mean, like I said, a shake up here. Something here is about to break up because you're moving forward. I feel an energy here of liberation. I feel that you are going through a separation, Aquarius, and that you're moving towards a new love offer that's coming in here. And that's why I feel a new love is coming in. Someone here that you have true love with. It's a separation here. I feel because a new romantic life life cycle is starting here. I feel definitely you're moving towards a new love offer and you're taking a leap of faith here. It's something that you've been waiting for. I feel communication is coming in from this person here. Someone's revealing the truth here in a situation, King of Swords. Someone here is clear thinking and someone here is not taking any more bullshit is what I feel. There's an energy here of... Being open to this offer, Knight of Cups, that's coming in, a love offer. Yes. And it's saying, definitely, because you're aligning here to a soul connection. And we do see it here. I see that you're moving towards someone here that brings you peace. Someone here that's a soul connection, aligning to a divine partnership here, Aquarius, is what I feel. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Have a wonderful, blessed Valentine's day and I am sending you all love and light. Thank you so much, Aquarius.